Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. So this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had created a one spring with JDBC project and wanted to show you why transaction management is required in our application. So in previous video tutorial, uh, I was trying to run this application from my client program. So let's run it and here we get some exceptions saying that account holder name not found so if you go to the account row mapper class so here there is some typo by mistake i have typed this special character so remove these things and apart from this this column name also there is some typo so account underscore there should be account underscore type so let's make let's correct these two things and try to run from the client program and before that let's check what the balance in from account and to account so from account is this is the from account kishan's account is the from account and to account destination account we are assuming the raj account so to account there is a balance it is 7000 and destination account there is 23,000. Let's run this client application. And here we got the output saying that rupees 1000 is transferred from account number, this source account, to the this destination account. And finally, uh, our deposit method is printing rupees 1000 is deposited in account number. This. So if I go and refresh, then this should become the 86 and this one. 24 so this is happening properly right now some of the code we would like to refactor over here uh, in dog class sorry go to dog class here we can here uh, we haven't handled any kind of null pointer and all so there are a lot of I mean and there are some of the business use cases you can apply over here so here in current scenario what happened if uh, if you look into the source account then uh, there is a 86,000 balance right but we haven't applied any kind of business logic if source account even though contains 86 but uh, uh, client is uh, sending amount like 87,000 then that will successfully deducted and that will deposit it into the source account and here 1000 will be shown as the negative so that shouldn't happen right so people cannot transfer money whatever uh, they have uh, currently in his account more than that so to handle this kind of scenario we can uh, apply if if uh, current balance this one greater than equal to amount then allow them to retry else we can throw some exception like throw sorry uh, throw uh, insufficient account balance something like this insufficient account insufficient account balance and here we can pass some message something like that insufficient account balance okay so this exception oh sorry here you will have to put the new keyboard so this exception we have to define so let's create this custom exception in uh, DAW exception package and let's create this guy so here we need to 
so this class implements serializable so that's why we need to add serial version uid now here i'm going to i'm going to specify constructor but not default constructor but argumented constructor and here you can pass message message and from here we can call super and here message you can pass so this is very easy to define custom exception is easy to define right so all exception related methods are uh, defined in the super class exception that is the throwable uh, class so now here what about now we have declared one check exception right so we need to throws the exception once you throw the exception so you need to declare this exception in insufficient account balance and name should not looks good so insufficient account balance exception rename like this right like this and we need to Right, I need to rename this class as well, right? Okay, now this exception you will have to declare in the interface as well, right? So here is the interface. right now caller is nothing but our client program caller has to handle this exception within the try catch right this statement even you can put inside the try catch itself and here i don't want to print the entire print stack trace instead of that just i want to print the message get sorry a dot get message so if some exception arises while calling the withdraw method then this match is uh, i am trying to print in the client program okay now if this business requirement fulfills then we can proceed proceed for the withdrawal right so this code we can put inside this again you can apply one more business logic if account this returns null right then you can uh, create one more exception account not found exception and that you can apply that i am going to leave up to you now let's go to run this uh, client program again so thousand bucks again i am trying to uh, transfer from this account to source account to destination account and here if i refresh it so currently 86 and 24 so now it is showing 85 and 25 okay so here so this is for positive scenario right happy flow but uh, we haven't think a scenario like this like uh, when you call from service these two api you are calling from your service layer right so here suppose withdraw happens successful well withdraw is happening successful well, while depositing the money if some exception arises then what will happen right so intentionally what i'm trying to uh, throw an exception so here intentionally i'm going to write a, a column name account underscore balance one so this column does not exist so while executing this method uh, there will be some sql exception but this method will be executed successfully and if i run the client program then look at here saying that withdrawn happens successfully one message is coming well but while depositing the money into the destination account so some sql exception has been arised right we got some uh, sql 
error and if I go here then you will see money will be deducted from the source account but that is not getting added into the destination account so right now current balance is going 85,000 in source account and destination account 25,000 if I refresh it then this will become 84 but this is not going to become 26 it means 1000 bucks is going to loss look so that's the reason we need to manage the transaction in our application so if you, you want to maintain the integrity of your uh, data then you must implement transaction in uh, in your application in this scenario if withdrawn is happen successful but while depositing the money if uh, some kind of exception arises like sql exception or network failure then money should be credited back to the source account then you can say we are managing the transaction in jdbc when you uh, call any jdbc api so basically we know that spring with jdbc is basically the uh, that is the wrapper on the top of the JDBC, uh, JDBC API itself. So when is when you uh, query any database with JDBC API and you fire only update query, then immediately JDBC commits this 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 changes into the database because in JDBC auto commit is always true by default so in jdbc basically how we manage the transaction we set the i mean set auto commit in connection level false in the try block itself that should be the first statement then you uh, perform the set of actions and finally uh, you commit the transaction if some wrong things happen or some exception arises then you catch block uh, you will have to roll back the transaction so this way basically we need to write the some boilerplate code in JDBC if you want to manage the transaction. Now in next video tutorial we will see how we can uh, overcome this kind of problem even though uh, if money is deducted from the source account and while depositing the destination account if I get some exception then uh, money shouldn't be lost right. So whatever deduction happened from the source account that should be uh, credited back to the uh, source account again so that money will not will not be lost so we'll see in next series of video tutorial how we can manage the transaction in a spring with jtbc so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys see you in next video tutorial thank you so much for watching this video